Hi, I'm Dr. Rajiv Banod and I'm a social entrepreneur. Yes, I am. So I got back to Malaysia about eight years ago and I spent a couple of years working as a medical doctor in a local government hospital. It was during this time that I stumbled across a British military nanotechnology that had the ability to convert dirty, muddy, contaminated water into sterile drinking water within absolute seconds. We have 3.5 million people that die every single year because they consume water that's contaminated by bacteria and virus. Waterborne disease such as cholera and diarrhea you know, are the main causes of these uh, waterborne deaths. Having realised that there are 1.2 billion people worldwide that are trapped in water poverty, I think it's a huge humanitarian crisis that doesn't seem to be getting enough attention and there potentially is a solution to this big humanitarian crisis. I decided that this was something I wanted to pursue. And I think a big problem that a lot of people are faced with is that when you are in that comfort zone where you've got a job that pays the bills at the end of the month, it's very difficult to leave that and move and head and pursue you know, an, a dream or, or, or an ambition or go down a path that is not a very a clear path as to where it's going to bring you. Knowing that we have a technology that can help these people is something that you know, gave me all the motivation in the world to just move forward and, and, and try to help those that are in need of this technology. It's very, very heartbreaking seeing young kids who are suffering you know, because they are, you know, have malnutrition, they don't have clean drinking water, which is taking a serious toll. It has saddened me that there are so many people that do not have the most basic commodity that we need you know, for basic survival, that is clean water. For thousands of years, human beings have always been building their communities to live around water. So we harvest any source of fresh water. When you see the smile, the joy, the happiness that these communities you know, are faced with, when they finally realise that Clean drinking water is going to now be as simple as just turning on a tap. What we hope to see in the long term, uh, in the long run with these communities, is the positive domino effect that clean water is going to bring to them. Children will be able to go to school. Education is going to be you know, a, a weapon that is going to be empowering them. Women do not have to spend hours walking miles and miles every day to get clean drinking water. So they can contribute to the whole, you know, uplifting the you know, economic state of their family. And, and in the long run, we hope that's a domino effect that we will see that will you know, uplift families, communities you know, and, and, and countries. But what we've done is just scratched, I think, the tip of this humanitarian iceberg. And you know, we want to continue collaborating with groups all over the world. We want to work with different communities all over the world. And we want to continue building on the momentum that we have started over the past five years.